Another interesting theory of motivation is self-determination theory. According to self-determination theory, we have three basic organismic needs. So these are the needs that we as organisms have. The first one is a need for confidence. We want to have a high degree of self-efficacy. This is the belief that we can achieve the, goal, the, the goals that we can set for ourselves. If you have a low self-efficacy, well then, you know, you may know what you have to do, but you don't feel you have the capability of doing it. So you want to have high self-efficacy, a sense of mastery, being able to uh, achieve something. So mastery of uh, psychology is not about the grade that you get on your exam, but it's about feeling that you really learned the material well. Uh, and you have high expectations for success. You know, so that your need for confidence is to fulfill these uh, these these basic needs. So let's say the second one is relatedness. This is the desire to have more warm relations with other people. You need to be able to belong. You don't want to be isolated. You don't want to be left out of the crowd. You would like to be accepted and liked by other people. Finally, it might seem like different from what might seem opposite of relatedness, but it really isn't. It's a sense of autonomy. It's not about being by yourself and doing your own thing. But it's about being independent and not having to rely on anybody but yourself. You still would want to have warm relations with other people, but autonomy essentially means that you have self-control. You don't feel as if you are controlled by others. So these three basic needs are really all we need in terms of motivation according to this particular uh, theory. Another concept when it comes to motivation, the understanding motivation, is the concept of self-regulation. Realizing this, motivation is driving us, is pushing us to achieve our goals, to push us toward our goals. Self-regulation, though, is our way of establishing whether or not we are on the right way to achieving those goals. So we are monitoring ourselves, we are regulating ourselves. So do we need to push ourselves a little harder here? Okay. Do we need to step back a minute over here? Okay. They rely on feedback. You know, are you pushing too hard? Do you need to let step back a minute? These are things that we're doing. So the process of self-regulation is involving constant feedback and evaluating the, the extent to which we are heading towards the goals we're seeking. So we're setting goals setting goals that are specific. It's easier to be, you know, you're much better off if the goals that you're seeking are very specific. It's much easier to attain them than if they're just general, say, I'm going to do well, in, if I'm going to be smart or I'm going to do well in school. Or specifically say, I'm going to get an A in the psychology class is a little bit more specific. I'm going to do well on this next exam. I'm going to get at least an, a 90 on the next exam. That's also specific. You want your goals to be moderately challenging. Uh, so the process of self-regulation, your, your, your motivation, you don't want to be just giving yourself goals that are, you know, easy, ridiculous to, uh, ridiculously easy to, to achieve. You want to be able to work toward this goal. The goal so in order for this goal to be meaningful, it needs to have some work to it. But you don't want it to be too challenging because then if there's a threat that you won't reach it. You want to reach goals that are reachable. And you want to have a long-term purpose. You want to be able to say that, you know, this is, you know, it's it's one specific goal that we're seeing, but we're looking for the future in this particular case, too. It's a, it's a path in that future for the future. And again, you're having a long-term purpose that you're trying to fulfill, but you take those short-term accomplishments to get there. A lot of times people fail in self-regulation when they have really big dreams about how awesome they're gonna, their lives are going to be, but they don't take the little small steps that they need to take in order to make their lives awesome. They need to, you know, start small, move one step at a time. So you, so you work hard to make those short-term accomplishments. You make sure you get them, and then you can move on to the next step. You might get lost 
thinking about that future goal if you're not paying attention to the things you need to do right now. And thus, this is the process of self-regulation, making sure you are fulfilling each of these steps.